Hi friends, Jenny here again, and I wanted to read a book inspired by all of the water bottles that I see you sipping from when we gather on Zoom. Drinking water is so important. So I thought today we could read the book, A Cool Drink of Water. And this book is by National Geographic with words by Barbara Curley. So get a cold drink of water and sit back and enjoy this story. Look closely at the pictures and notice all the different ways around the world that people get their water. Somewhere, right now, someone is drinking water. Look at what he's using to scoop up the water and take a sip. Scooped from the river. So he has a big clay pot and he's scooping the water from the river. Drawn from a well. So going down where there's water underground and bringing the water up. Caught as it drips from the roof. So they're catching some rainwater in their container. From fountains. So maybe it's a drinking fountain or maybe it's a fountain like this. You always wanna make sure the water is clean enough to drink. From pumps. So she's pumping the water to go into her bucket. Straight from the tap cool drink of water stored in the shade so maybe these all have water in them all of these pots in cool clay pots or chilled in a pitcher of ice do you have cold water in your house do you like ice cubes in your water in buckets Look how he has, or she has them balanced on her shoulders and she's carrying buckets from the lake or ocean. Brass pots. So look, one, two, three. Wow, and they are walking and balancing those pots of water up on their heads. Yeah plastic jugs, caravan cans, a cool drink of water. Let's look closely. What is this caravan? Do you see the camels? And they're carrying packs filled with water to bring to the people who need it. Squeezed from a bottle, a burlap bag. Some people drink water from a bag that keeps it cool and they can drink it on their journey. Sipped from a thin tin cup. You might take a cup like that out when you go camping. Shared in a family. Shared with a friend. A cool drink of water. So if you look closely at the baby, we see the mom is giving the baby little, little sprinkles of water. And then if we look over at this person, who are they sharing water with? Yeah, do animals need water too? Definitely, and plants also, right? Everyone, everywhere, a nice, cool drink of water. Look at all those happy faces enjoying their water. The end. And this book has lots of information on the back about all of the different pictures and where they were taken. But also we see this map of the world. So here's Earth. And if you look at all that blue, that is all ocean. So most of our planet is made up of water. And it turns out most of our body is too. So I hope you're enjoying lots of water on these warmer days. Be sure to stay hydrated and say thank you 
for the water that you're able to drink. Bye friends, see you again soon.